Hey everybody, this is my hiking adventures here. So I just bought this new tent. It's called the Cabela's New Bighorn Tent. So far, I really, really like this tent. I set it up yesterday. Yesterday was a gorgeous day, nice and sunny out. Uh, it was a little tough setting up. Uh, I'll, I'll give a preview and a review on that and how to set it up. The poles that come with it are very, very heavy duty steel poles. Um, they're very thick. Um, they're, they're definitely made to withhold some wind and some uh, harsh uh, weather. And that's actually what I'm doing right now is testing this out in a rainstorm, which is perfect because I set it up yesterday, like I said. Gorgeous weather. Slept out in it. Had a good sleep. Tested out a wood stove that I got. But the next four or five days, we're supposed to get some heavy rain, off and on rains, body rain showers, and this and that. So I really wanted to test out the durability of this tent. You know, I figured out, test it out, see if it leaks anywhere, see if it withholds, you know, the type of uh, rain that we're supposed to get. Because in the description, too, as you read uh, the product description, it actually says, what, able to withstand harsh weather, uh, snow, rain, wind, you know, that sort of thing. So we're about to get a combination of all that over the next week or so. So I'm going to leave this tent up for, you know, as long as it rains. And I'll take it down the next uh, nice day, dry it out and air it out and everything first before I pack it away. But I really wanted to see how it withstands uh, all the harsh weather that we're supposed to get. And then I'll do a final review on that. It's actually been raining for uh, about four, four and a half hours right now. And right now it's been a steady rain. So far, it's bone dry in here. There's actually no condensation, no nothing. Um, the water just glides right off. It, it's crazy. Uh, all the tents that I've been in and tarps that I've had, usually the water would kind of just seep right in or, you know, somehow find its way through the material. And this isn't a canvas tent, so that's kind of why it threw me off that it's staying dry this, this good. It just trickles right down and goes onto the ground. I'm actually really impressed so far, but we got a ways to go. Uh, with this test and this review. Um, as far as I'm concerned, so far everything is really sturdy and sound. Uh, I've had some good gusts come through here. The tent hasn't moved. The stakes that come with this tent are like nothing I've ever seen. I'll have to show, actually I got them right here. I got some extra ones. Hold on. So, these are the stakes. <laughs> these are about like 8 to 10 inch stakes. Let me get a close up. Okay. Eight to ten inch, st uh, ten inch stakes. They got a little hook right here. Okay. Where you do your guy lines. And then you just hammer it right into the ground. So these things are heavy duty. Uh, I got stuck a couple of times in the ground and was stomping on them. They did not bend. Um, I mean, these things are no joke from what I see. Um, they're, they're nice and heavy and heavy duty stakes so got those yeah so we'll, we'll keep it up to date on this and uh we'll go from there so until then be safe everybody i know camping season's coming up here and it's already started for some so if you're looking for a new tent and everything you know this might be one to really check out and uh and uh you know take a look and like i said once the rain clears up next week we'll take a look and i'll show you the outside of it and uh, show you how I put it all together. All right? So that's that, and uh, we'll see you next week, guys. Be safe.
gonna do the center pull. This will give you the frame and then we're gonna pull out the ends and they'll lift up the center. It'll just make it a lot easier. But it is confusing when you lay out the tenant first because everything's all bunched together. But it is obviously easy, easier with more than one person, but you know, it'll take you about 20 minutes to so half an hour your first few times. Got the end staked out. If you're pulling on the end, you want to make sure that your other opposite stake is in very, very nice and taut. Because as you're pulling on the other end, you can rip it right out and then you have to start over. But you can see why I uh, I did it this way because now all my clips are already set up in the center with that center pull, and then all they gotta do is just the sides and pop that up and we're done. Um, there's just some extra guidelines that we got put out and everything else, but other than that, that's the hardest part right there. Um, I did the trucker's hitch because on the guidelines here, actually uh, I'll come and show you. So there's a, a little S beaner or whatever you want to call that. So I did the trucker's hitch and I looped it through here and then I just tied my line through the S and then all the way down and then as you're going down you have this steel piece here for a tightener uh, so you can make your line nice and taut and then uh, same thing for the other side I'll show you real quick. Do the same thing and you don't have to do it that way but it just adds a little extra security make sure your lines in there nice nice and tight and then same thing go all the way down and just plan out your slack that you want uh, when you're putting your stakes in I mean you want to get it as nice and tight you're not gonna really rip anything uh, the tighter the better I highly recommend bringing a hammer for those stakes. So we're all set up basically. You can see we got the frame of it uh, down. I just got to pull out the rest of the guidelines, stake those in, uh, adjust the footprint underneath a little bit, and, and we're good. 
So I'll uh, turn it back on. Yeah, when we're all done with it. So I just bought it last week, tested it out in the rain, had it out for four or five days of just straight downpouring rain. Um, held up very nicely. Never leaked, uh, no condensation, no water, no nothing. Nothing ever came in. It was bone dry the entire time. I checked on it every day. I was actually very, very impressed and very surprised by it. But uh, well, I'll come inside and take a look. Come check it out. So this is the inside. <clears throat> it's a hexagonal shape. So you have six sides. I'm brighten this up for you. There you go. So here's the front. Okay. Front is a triangular door. The zippers on left side and right side. They both go right into the middle, and then a zipper comes down straight through the middle. And they all connect down at the bottom. Same thing with the outer door. The outer door folds in, same thing. Double zippers on the bottom, they go right into the center, and then it zippers right down from the top down. All meets in the center bottom. Um, you have four windows. One, two on the very back, three, and then four. What I really like about these windows is not only do they zipper all the way up for privacy, but on the outside, and I'll go show you this right now. On the outside, there's a buckle here. If you undo that, there is a plastic screen that comes down. It rolls all the way down, and it actually Velcros down on the very bottom here. Okay. And then there's zippers that connects it all the way down at the very bottom. Now what this is for is to keep the rain out. Obviously I didn't Velcro it as it should. But what's really nice is if it's raining and you just still want to look outside, you can keep the window open. And that's actually going to keep all the rain out and everything. The rain glides right off of this tent very nicely. Uh, like I said, never leaked. There's no condensation on the inside. Uh, it's, it's very impressive actually. So here's my setup. I got my camp right cot. It's actually a cot tent. Normally I'd have the tent on top of it, zippers on each side and then velcros down at the top and the bottom. And then you just crisscross the tent poles and they connect into the, the corners of the cot. And then you got your cot tent. But I like to use it just for a camping cot as well. Um, I got my light and lightened equipment down uh, top quilt that I use for backpacking for my hammock system. And then underneath that is my 15 degree hike and bike uh, quilt. Actually, I, I really like this. That quilt is very, very nice. Um, it was $130. And for it's not the ultra light or anything like that, but if you're looking for a good down bag to get you through some really cold weather, that sleeping bag does it. It weighs about three pounds, maybe a little over packed. Um, but for 130 bucks, you really couldn't go wrong. I've tested it out uh, twice now. Uh, last night it got down to 30 degrees, and then I tested it earlier before in uh, February, and it was down to like 25 degrees, 30 degrees, and I mean, it's toasty warm in that thing. Um, but enough about that. So again, you got your four windows. You got your stove floor here. Uh, just unzipper it like how, it's, how it is. And then you put your stove right up into the stove jack. Okay. You have four vents down at the bottom. One, two, and then three, four. Those just give you some extra airflow. Um, if it's cold out, obviously you're not going to want that. So... What I've heard people do is they stuff paper or anything else, socks, you know, anything like that that they can fit up there to kind of help the draft from coming in. Um, I'm just using a blue tarp just to kind of come in with my dirty shoes. Uh, let's see. What I really like about this is it comes with four of these. 
you want velcro this and it's actually a drink holder and a little side table in case you want to put something on the side there you know I don't know what but you know you might want a charger phone something like that and then over here is some more storage uh, some extra pockets you know if you want to put chargers cords cell phones keys wallet you know whatever you could fit in there so I thought that's pretty cool especially that little drink holder yeah that's pretty neat um, you know if you got chairs in here and that it's just a little extra thing that will make your comfort level a little bit higher um, so yeah there is a footprint that goes with the inside of this. It is extra. It costs about $90 from what I see. I don't know if it ever goes on sale. Um, but that's what these little tie outs are for that you'll see. Like here and there in the corners. You just loop that in. Uh, it does come with a footprint though for underneath. I do have that. And actually it lines up very perfectly. Uh, with the uh, stove hole so actually I was impressed by that too um, let me show you the outside excuse me guys while I just adjust this so the outside here okay so the outside here um, you have three main poles, they're all heavy duty steel. The center pole goes right through there. You got all these little clips, clip onto the pole. And then you have your triangular pole, that goes on the inside, same thing, it clips in. And then also with the back. This is what the stove jack looks like, it does come with its own flap. It zippers up and then it tucks underneath that top flap. There are some extra uh, guy line uh, loops here so this you would just stretch out guy line diagonally same with the other side this gives you a little extra shade a little extra protection here's your main guy line here this is what supports the whole tent same with the front you I just did like a trucker's hitch okay let me focus that so I just did a trucker's hitch looped it through here and then you have this little S hook here and then you uh, loop the the line through there you could do it different ways but this way worked for me so far and then you just tie it out and then it comes with these heavy duty 10 to 12 inch uh, stakes and then you just tighten it here um, let's see what else you have extra guy lines here four on each side that just helps pull out the sides of the tent so you have a little extra room and headroom. The uh, size of this tent is 12 by 14, 12 feet wide, 14 feet long. It is eight and a half feet in the center peak and then five and a half feet uh, roughly on the sides. So plenty of room, plenty of room to stand, uh, plenty of room for gear, plenty of room for people, plenty of room for everything. I also did a setup video on this too so this will probably be combined with that here's another look at the side the best way to set this up is you put you stake out the four corners first and then you set up your poles so you lay the poles down push them in to like where these ones would go the the front and the end one you would put those underneath the flap as the tent's laying down connect all the all the clips to it and then you do the center one and then as you pull your guidelines out on each end it's gonna pop up the center one so you don't have to worry about the top clips and then you just put them in the the little uh, grommet pins and then you stake the rest of it all down it, it took me about 20 25 minutes to set this whole thing up by myself and that's the second time setting this up so I thought that was pretty darn good so here's another look at it from the front. Okay. So yeah, so this is the Cabela's uh, new Bighorn tent. Here, let's go back inside. I set you up right here. Okay.
Let's get that in focus. So, sorry for the bad hair day. Um, I'm out camping right now at uh, Willow Bay at uh, Allegheny National Forest in Pennsylvania. So I thought this would be a good test just to bring it out and practice setting it up and so forth. So, like I said, the tent's very heavy duty. It's an outfitter's tent. It's four season. It's great for any type of camping. I like to have a different... Um, variety of camping i could bring this tent when i go camping with the family just at regular state parks or if i want to go a little rustic or more in the backwoods i can certainly bring this along um it is heavy all packed ready to go in its uh carrying case it's about 75 pounds um with that said though again it, it is a heavy duty tent it retails for about a thousand dollars would i pay a thousand dollars for this absolutely not no way um Especially with all the extras that you can get for it, you're looking at almost $1,500 with everything, um, or more if you want to buy stove, if you want to buy the wood stove and all that. Um, I saw it on sale though for $6.99. The sale ended like within a day or two. It was weird. Uh, I went to buy it and I saw the sale was gone. And then a couple weeks later, I checked the website again. I saw it was on sale for $5.99, so I jumped right on it. Um, that sale ended like in two days so what I see from here is this tent is not on sale on a weekly basis it's only on sale for like one to three days so if you're really looking for a tent and you want a good family tent and you want something uh, just for yourself if you like going out if you like hunting if you like doing a long winter trips or anything like that th this is a good tent I would certainly recommend buying this tent but not for the thousand dollar retail price but I would certainly uh, you know buy it try it out see how you like it I know uh, I saw some bad reviews on this tent leaking and everything, but like I said, I left it in the pouring rain for four to five days um, with no tree canopy. It was, it was wide open, and I was very impressed to see that there was no water, no rain, no nothing that got inside of it, even through the flooring. So I'm very happy with this tent. I'm going to keep it, and uh, it does come with the lifetime guarantee as well so definitely look into that so you understand what the lifetime guarantee is um, other than that that's all I can say I, I only got positive things to say about this so far so definitely check it out um, if you're in the market for a new tent check it out and, and uh, see how you like it if you don't like it just return it you'll get your money back so take care guys be safe out there and you know have fun with the outdoors take care guys